Hello everybody, I am Elham from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. And today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful cream gel soap. It is a hybrid of sapo gel, oleo gel and a surfactant containing soap so it foams more than Sapo gel and it has a less greasy skin feel. Uh, you can easily apply it as a soap on the go. It is easily usable in kind of tubes that you can have and transport in your purse or in your car, specifically during this tough time that you need to wash your hands several times and more often than usual. So we are going to make this easy uh, kind of hybrid soap. As always, all of the formulation and procedure are on block. So join me and we'll make these beautiful soaps. This is a small twist to the usual conventional sapo gel formulation. As always, I have here my sapo gel and glycerin blend. Here is my complete oil phase, which is very simple today. Hemp seed oil, rosemary CO2 extract, uh, tocopherol, uh, both of them work as an, an antioxidant, and the uh, green mandarin essential oil. And what is new to you is this face, which is the surfactant face, and I kept it very simple, only the silk glucoside. And so I'm going to start blending the oil and sapo gel face. As always, the key is very slow addition of the oil face to the sapo gel face and uh, uh, an overhead stirrer makes it very easy but if you don't have one you can easily manage small patches even with a spatula so we'll start here The oil phase should be added very slowly and gradually to the sapo gel phase with stirring in between. So if you are doing this manually, you add a small quantity of the oil and blend it completely and then add the next alicot. It will take a while till I'm done here. Uh, you don't have to watch me do this step. I will come and show you when I am halfway through the oil phase. I am halfway through adding the oil phase to the sapo gel phase. It gradually begins to look like a gel, but it takes a while till I have completely added all of the oil phase. I'm almost finished with adding the oil phase and it really looks like a gel now, not quite pretty, but it will change when I add the surfactant phase. I let the rest of the oil, it's not much more, to blend, and then we'll come back and show you the gel before adding the surfactant phase. I have now added all of the oil phase to the sapo gel phase, and it looks really like a gel. And now I am going to slowly add the surfactant phase to the sapo gel phase. Add the surfactant slowly and gradually. We don't want to create foam here. I have now added all of the surfactant phase to the sapo gel and I can stop stirring now and see how it looks like. Nice and smooth and the color is much prettier now 
after adding the surfactant phase. Looks like green smoothie. And it's almost ready to use. This is a waterless product. We have added a water containing surfactant 10% here, but still the water activity is too low for contamination. So this is a self-preserving product and doesn't need any preservative. But we need to measure and adjust the pH because the surfactant that I have added here has a high pH. And although this is an oil-based product or oleogel, it blends with water and it emulsifies in water so we can easily measure the pH of the product just like an emulsion. I'm going to prepare a 10% dilution in distilled water. I have already calibrated my a pH meter and I will measure the pH. This is my 10% dilution. It's quite milky as one expects from Sapojel product that creates a milk by adding water and now I am going to measure the pH. So the pH is 8.05 which is still milder than a soap but uh, too high for a hand wash and we have to reduce the pH by adding lactic acid. I have added lactic acid to the gel and prepared another 10% dilution and now I'm going to measure the pH and see if we are in the range. I am aiming, since this is a preservative free product, I am aiming for a pH between 4.5 and 5.2. 4.84, which is in the range that I wanted. And we are practically finished here. Now I have to take my stability samples and fill the product in suitable containers. I have filled the product in tubes, in tube bottle and in sea level tubes and I'm now going to show you how it works. It is more like a cream soap than a real soap but as you expect, Sapo Gel by adding water it turns milky and it foams. After rinsing it has a very nice skin feel. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. As always, the complete formulation and procedure are on our blog. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I will see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.